Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are finally building the back of our chair. So if we take a look at our chair here, we know that it is 40 centimeters tall and 40 centimeters wide. And then we said in the previous video that our dimensions here for these arms would be 5 by 5. So let's get to it. So we'll go over here to bodies and we'll hide our seat. Then we will create a sketch and click on the bottom here. And now we're going to click on S and then choose our center rectangle. And we wanted this to be five centimeters deep by 40 wide, 40 centimeters. So we hit tab there and then I'm pressing enter. And now we're going to press Q and we're going to click on the square that we've made and we wanted to make it 40 centimeters tall so good we will press enter scroll out a little bit and now we've got a nice <laughs> a nice square rectangle whatever you want to call it but we will hit shift and middle click to orbit look at the front face of this and then we want to cut out those these things. So we're gonna make 10 centimeters before the first one and then we will make these let's make them 5 centimeters tall. It's just easier that way just because it makes everything nice and we can remember that. So we click on create a sketch and then we're gonna select the first or the front of our chair seat back. Oh my goodness our chair back I guess. And then we're going to click on a line and we're going to draw up 10 centimeters and press enter. What? <laughs> Why did it go backwards? Control Z that. We're going to try that one more time. Press enter. Okay, well that's fun. I don't know why it's doing that. Let's see. See that way works. <laughs> Why won't this one work? Oh, my I don't know what happened, but it worked now. So we're just gonna try that one more time. We're just gonna click on line and then click at 10. Now we're going to choose our two-point rectangle. And we're going to start all the way over here. We're going to make it five tall. And actually, my bad. We need this to be out by five centimeters. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side because this is going to be like those two arms there. So we need to draw this out by five. And then we will do hit escape, click on our line again, and we'll do the same thing. We'll go up 10 and go in five. Perfect, hit escape. Now we can draw our two point rectangle. All we have to do is go up five, okay. And then we will do, we'll go up 10 centimeters from here and do that. Click here. And I'm hoping what I'm thinking will work. Um, we're going to be drawing the rectangles and then cutting out what's in between them. So we're going to keep drawing here, another 10 centimeters up. And then here, and then finally the last rectangle at five. So now we've got our rectangles one, two, and three and then we're going to cut out the places in between them. So here, here, and then I guess if we draw a line down to the bottom. There we go. And there. So now we are going to press Q. We're going to click this, this, and this and we're going to cut those out. So we're going to shift middle click and then we're going to just cut those out and press enter. Looks pretty good. Doesn't look too bad to me. So now we've got our rectangles and everything. We also need to add the pegs to the bottom. So let's do that. We'll zoom all the way down to here and then we're going to click on create a sketch and then click our face down here. 
Now we're going to choose our center diameter circle like before. And remember how we can snap to find where the middle is? We're going to do that and type in 3, hit enter, and then we're going to do the exact same thing for the other side. Except it doesn't want to because we drew on this plane. So we're going to create another sketch right here. And we're going to do the same thing. Right there, 3, hit enter. And now we're going to press Q. We're going to click on both of our little circles and we're going to extrude them by 5 centimeters. So just type in a positive 5 and that will push it out. And then hit enter. And now you can see we've got our posts on our chair back. While it's not identical, it looks pretty good. I think so. You know what? We could cut out like a little bit at the top there. Let's try that. I think it would be cool. So we'll just go through this real quick because it is not necessary. Um, go out five. Let's go down to here. I don't know where that is, but looks kind of cool. 30 centimeters. Yep, because that'll give another five on that side. And then if we connect those two, we can now press Q. And then, well, I guess I didn't draw all the lines. That's That line is missing. So we'll click here. And so you noticed when I hit Q, it didn't actually have this as a solid object, or not a solid object, but at least a drawing. That's because I didn't complete it. I didn't close this off. So it thought the entire thing was what I was selecting. So we're going to press Q again and then click on it. And then we're just going to drag over to the side and just ex cut it out and then make it look like that. Ta-da! So now we can... Hmm, we can actually fill it this. We'll do that. We always love to fill it. This side. Oh, I didn't select it. There we go. And then these two guys too. And then here, 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 here. We'll do actually all the edges. So I cut ahead so you didn't have to watch me just mindlessly click for like two minutes. And we will put in one centimeter. How's that look? Looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. So we're going to hit enter. And ta-da. We now have the back to our seat. So let us press A for appearance. And we're going to click on our cherry and bring it over. That way we now have three pieces that are all in cherry. Hit escape there. So now we've got the seat and we've got the leg and we've got the back and they're all in cherry so that'll be nice to see when it's all assembled so that's it for this video in the next video we're going to be exploring how we can actually um, scale this down and assemble it and then that way we can print it on our mantis 3d printer so if this video helped you out please like and subscribe it lets me know that i'm doing the right thing and comment down below what you'd like to see next thanks for watching See you next time.